Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and this is episode 126, I think. Uh, so yeah, I did record a couple episodes the other night while I was sick, uh, so you probably saw me wearing the same shirt in all of them, and I'd just been too busy and too sick to edit them, so I'm sorry it took me a couple extra days to get those up, but all three of those videos should be up by now. And now it's Thursday, and I want to record this finally because a couple of you, I was actually very happy because you guys know I don't like to cover rumors and things like that too, too much. Uh, but I do like to speculate and have some fun. And if something, you know, does get spread out there, I do want to cover it because that's kind of what we do here on the Venom vlog is we talk anything Venom related. Uh, but a lot of you guys have been asking me, or a couple of you started asking me in the past day or so about uh, the Carnage thing, about Woody Harrelson playing Carnage. And again, I was like, I was expecting more, every day that went by, I was expecting more comments about it. And I think I only got three, like one direct message and I think two comments uh, in the videos about Woody Harrelson playing Carnage. And for some of you, you guys probably have been here since the beginning or maybe went back and watched my earlier episodes. But all the way back on episode seven of this show, we actually covered uh, Woody Harrelson. That was right when he was announced that he joined the cast of the movie in a very small role because apparently he only shot uh, like maybe for a couple days at max. And uh, our sources at the time weren't really like sources, like no one fed me information directly, but we were following people on Twitter at that point, even though I don't have Twitter, I would just, uh, you know, go there every day and just kind of watch a couple people's uh, Twitter accounts and one of them was this person named Atlanta Filming at Atlanta Filming So make sure you're following them because early on in our show They were like our main source of information. They were actually there taking pictures uh, on the set uh, You know anytime they were shooting in like locations around the city uh, So obviously there if they were on a soundstage somewhere shooting you know, there was no photos of that, but when, the, you know, the car chase sequence, the scene where, uh, you know, Reese, uh, or yeah, Treese, right, uh, Scott Hayes' character, when he gets, you know, he's tasering Eddie Brock on the ground, and then Eddie Brock stands up and chokes him, like, a lot of that stuff uh, was shot by people in the area, but also Atlanta Filming was covering a lot of that, too, and uh, he got some really good shots, some that he couldn't share, so respectfully, if I came across those photos, I didn't share them either, uh, so, uh, you know, because if he wasn't allowed to share them, I wanted to follow the same rules that he had to follow, uh, according to the people that were there on set, and, you know, Sony people that were saying, hey, don't let this get out there, you know, uh, even though I think at one point his his information was hacked, and some, uh, some photos of... Uh, Jenny Sleep did leak leak out there, uh, but those are photos that we still I don't I, as far as I remember we have not shared on this channel uh, at all. Uh, but so we back in episode seven we talked about Woody Harrelson joining the cast, and then in episode twenty, which was like two days before Christmas, uh, that was uh, that man that's that only you know that was a hundred episodes ago, and it was only th like three and a half months ago, four months ago. Um, so that's crazy to me. Um, but anyway. In episode 20 of this show, we had talked about Woody Harrelson possibly playing Carnage. And the reason we were talking about it then was because of some tweets that were going back and forth. So if you want to go back, I don't want to repeat too much of the information from that episode. Uh, I'll try to put a link down below to episode uh, 7 and 20 uh, of this show, and you guys can go back and watch them. So we kind of already covered this back when it really was just like a rumor and like a Twitter conversation. And it was between like Marvelous Realm and Atlanta Filming and a couple other people that were in the Atlanta area uh, sharing information about what was going on about the Venom movie because people were asking them like, hey, what, what did you see today? What, you know, what's going on? And people ask them, hey, is Carlton Drake uh, or is Riz Ahmed playing Carnage? And uh, Atlanta Filming said, no, he's not playing Carnage. And this is before we really knew he was playing Carlton Drake. And so, you know, so he was like, yeah, no, he's not playing Carnage. He's playing someone else. Uh, and someone else is playing Carnage. And uh, and then people were like, oh, who? Who's playing Carnage? And he goes, well, I, I can't say. Uh, but from what I understand, Carnage is only in a couple scenes and he's more of a setup for a future film. And this is all stuff we talked about, like I said, over 100 episodes ago. So even though a lot of reports are coming out now about some of this stuff, it's stuff we've covered. We've been there and done that. Uh, and that's kind of, I kind of like that, you know, seeing that. Because it's like, you know, we were really focused on this movie and the production of this movie when they were filming it, when very few other people even gave a crap. Like, no one seemed to really care about this movie. And then once the teaser came out, everyone cared because 
you know, in the sense that they, you know, they wanted to hate on it. And it gave them ammunition to hate on it because it didn't show Venom in the trailer, which, you know, I think was a mistake on Sony's part. Uh, but I also know why they didn't. They were just trying to get the tone of the film out there and show that this is a little bit different than your average comic book superhero movie. This we're going for kind of a different tone on this one. And I'm sure the next trailer, which will probably show Venom, which we might get at the end of this month in April. So those of you who've been asking me in the comments, uh, go back again, watch some of our previous episodes. Issue or I think episode 101, we talked about CinemaCon, which is coming up at the end of April. It's April 23rd, and Sony has like a an hour and 40 minute panel right at the start of the show and they're going to talk about all their movies coming up this summer this fall and in the future so i imagine they're going to be not only venom stuff there and pictures and information and casting they're probably going to dump a lot of information on us and they'll probably save some for comic-con as well so we'll probably just get a little bit teaser here and then more at Comic-Con. Uh, but the, what we might also hear about the Morbius movie, the Nightwatch movie, the Silver and Black movie. Uh, we might hear about that stuff too. So Sony is definitely trying to push this. CinemaCon's a big convention for people who own and run chains of uh, theaters out there uh, and across the United States and the world. And so this is just a, a way for them to go and experience this, get information right from the distributors, right from you know uh, studios out there about what's to come and to they can figure out ways to get people excited at their theaters and how to get people into their theaters. So it's a really cool convention coming up. So I'm sure they're going to cover a lot of Venom stuff there and it'll give us a bunch of you know episodes to make. Uh, but as far as the Woody Harrelson thing, like I said, I don't want to repeat too much what was in episode 20, but I talked about how I like that casting choice because it would give a different take on Carnage it, because Woody Harrelson's older. He's like 55 or 56 now, I think. And uh, I, I kind of looked at that as maybe making Cletus Cassidy more of a Hannibal Lecter type someone who maybe has two or three scenes in the movie and he's kind of chained up the whole time and he's got like a muzzle over his face and uh, maybe he, you know, causes some banter or has some kind of uh, exposition at one point or, uh, or he's on death row. I thought about that too. Like maybe he's on death row and the Life Foundation's like, hey, we need human test subjects that no one's going to care about if they go missing. And we, they, we already know that's the case because Eddie Brock and that still image that they released, the first official image, in his notes where he was asking, he's at like a conference for the Life Foundation, he's asking them, hey, uh, you know, what's with the people that have been missing uh, that, uh, you know, that's go that that's going around? It's something like, are you guys involved with the people that are missing? Uh, people apparently signed up for your program and haven't, you know, been seen again. And so we already know that's happening. We already know the Life Foundation is doing that. So it'd be neat if they were like, all right, we can't keep taking civilians because we're going to raise too many flags. So why don't we go on death row and find a serial killer uh, like Woody Harrelson, someone who's served a life sentence in jail maybe he's been in jail for 20 years after killing like 50 to 100 people or whatever something crazy like that and uh, and they're like all right this is going to be our test subject for this next form of the symbiote that we're working with um so i thought that would be a cool way to do uh you know carnage in the storyline is, is set him up that way because the only way i could see carnage organically fitting into this movie as the main villain which a lot of people were speculating as well is if you did the Sin Eater story and you just, instead of make it Sin Eater, make it Cletus Cassidy. So maybe you have someone like a newspaper out there calling Cletus Cassidy the Sin Eater killer or whatever, and then, you know, have someone pretend to take the credit for it and then that ruin Eddie Brock's life. And then at the end, you find out Cletus Cassidy is a real person. He is a real serial killer. And it's not the the guy who took credit for it that, you know, ruined Eddie's life. And then now Eddie has to deal with him. Uh, doesn't It doesn't really work in my mind, but that's the only way that I think you could try to make it work. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards that, you know, since Woody Harrelson only shot for a few days, he was credited as henchman at the beginning and then now has like no credit to his name at all on IMDb or anywhere else. Uh, so it, it makes me think that maybe, and especially since he has a relationship with Ruben Fleischer, the director, and they did Zombieland together, it makes sense that maybe Ruben would be be like hey I want to work with my friend he's a great bad guy and maybe it's something we could set up for the next film uh, so I think there's a lot more to this uh, than just a rumor if you try to piece it together I think it does make sense but it's still not confirmed at all and the source that we got it from was uh, from Bleeding Cool on April 1st and the of course the article says something like well it, it was told to me in a confirmy type type of way and I'm like okay so I have a little bit of red flag there uh, with that kind of information, uh, I felt like it was it was posted smack in the middle of April 1st. It was like 1 or 2 p.m. in the afternoon uh, here in California. So I was like, man, that's just too convenient uh, to get that out there. But then again, Rich Johnson, he's like in the UK. So, you know, he probably posted that, you know, 
past midnight his time for all I know. Uh, I don't remember exactly when it was posted, but I'll put a link to the Bleeding Cool link down below, and I'll put links to episode 7 and 20 of our show down below so you can kind of see my Woody Harrelson speculation theories from back then. I don't know. Uh, Woody Harrelson as Carnage. I know Demona and a couple other people that have commented and have been here since the beginning of our show have said that they weren't really excited for Woody Harrelson uh, because of his age and because of a couple other factors. Uh, but I am. I think that would be cool casting. Uh, but I would also like to see him play someone like the Sin Eater. Maybe not even Cletus Cassidy at all and maybe set up the Sin Eater for another movie. Uh, or have him be Sin Eater in this. Maybe he's just a henchman with a ski mask on or something like that. And it's just like he's doing a favor to Ruben Fleischer by being in the movie for a couple scenes. Uh, that could be it too. I don't know. But my hope was to see Sin Eater in this movie. So that's maybe that's why I'm hoping for that. But I don't think we will. I think they're going to skip over that and just have the Life Foundation uh, ruin Eddie Brock's life. Because that's all you really need to motivate him to become the lethal protector. Uh, is that you just need someone to ruin his life. In the comics it was Spider-Man ruined his life and the symbiote's life uh and then you know and basically outing you know who the real sin eater was that ruined uh, eddie brock's life but in the movie if it's the life foundation ruining his life because he's investigating them and he's getting too close and so they you know strip away everything they get him fired you know it, that leads to his wife leaving him or whatever that also can work still for the story and that is a good way to simplify his story and get his motivation going so that you can you know tell his origin story in a in a single movie uh so yeah those are my thoughts on this so thank you guys for watching as always let me know what you think in the comments down below and as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff i'll see you in the future peace